<laughs> Welcome to my bus. Well, my wife and I have been married 36 years, um, raised four kids, and uh, we ran away when we first met in a Volkswagen bus. And I've been wanting to do a Volkswagen bus and travel and just be simple. My wife was on board. She said, get a bus. And so I went on Craigslist, looked up buses, thinking Volkswagen bus, and saw a school bus and said, hey, that's even better. <laughs> that sounds even better. So went on and that same day bought a bus. It was literally, it was two miles from our house, waiting for us, cleaning it, obviously, getting everything. We took the hose to it and washed everything. And, um, you know, that's, then it was just kind of, what can we do? My wife has ideas, I have ideas, but luckily she doesn't do a lot about it. So I was able to do most of it myself. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's actually very easy to drive. It's not the super large size, it's 30 foot long, so. It's definitely manageable. Um, hadn't driven anything like that, except obviously like renting a U-Haul truck or something, but yeah, no, it runs great. Have had no problems with it the way it runs. What was Took it a little that? getting used to, but Whoa. I felt like I could drive right over anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm in a monster truck. <laughs> it was pretty fun. Runs great. We're gonna have it serviced today or looked at from our buddy at AAA bus, Tony. Yep, very good guy, knows buses. We put a CB in, because I always thought that was fun. Got We got a TV here, folds down. That was another, basically everything in here is garage sales and Craigslist and secondhand. Um, I kind of do stereo for a living, so I had to have music. And there's, we got amps inside here. Pop, we got subwoofers under the seats. These are speakers, there's a couple in the back. We've got speakers under the bus so that we can hear it outside with a switch. So yeah, music's a big part. Yeah, yeah, that charges the phone. We got one in the back. Obviously when we're camping anymore, you have to have phone chargers, so. And since everything runs off 12 volts, it's pretty simple. Yeah, you know, we've put lighting in. These things here light up and, they, and they're all on remotes. So it's all, it's pretty fun. Most of this stuff is just, you know, this at nighttime makes the whole thing look pretty fun. And we've got it inside and outside, which, you know, they're like 30 something dollars. So eh, anything I can do cheap that makes it fun, I'm gonna do it. This right here, this table was kind of funny because I bought it at a garage sale and I told the lady, I said, I'm gonna cut that in half after I bought it. And she wanted it back. She goes, you can't cut that in half. I said, trust me, I've got a plan for it. It's gonna work out. And so after I got it all installed and stuff, I brought it, I brought the bus over to her and showed her and she was, she was okay with it. But she was like, we grew up with this table. And so I have the other half so that I can use it on another bus somewhere. Oh, they're great. Yeah, yeah, we got these at, um, I picked these up at a garage sale for $5 a piece. And uh, I had, I was driving my car. I bought three of them and I had to try to fit it all into my little car. It was pretty funny but I could not let those go. I mean, oh, they swivel nice and they're actually very comfortable. Plus with the base, they don't tip over. So they've managed to take the ride pretty easy. Uh, well, what we did is we tried to, um, we sat in here a lot and you know, we looked around and I, I wanted like an Alice in Wonderland kind of theme. And um, then we started thinking about maybe not quite that crazy, but and that's what we told him, and this is what he did. I mean, within, he had the whole thing done in four hours, and he's just an amazing painter. I think I have one of his cards over here. Yeah, anybody that's interested in any kind of painting, he does this with one brush, typically, all hand painted, and he is amazing. Yeah, we'll definitely make sure that we're putting his, his information on this so that you can, anyone that wants to contact him, um, he, he really is amazing. Here's the thing, I've seen a ton of buses that do wood and finish it all. But one of the things I really wanted was for the bus to still be a bus. To just, when you got in it, you went, I remember all this stuff, it's still a school bus. I mean, literally, I could almost put the seats back and we'd be back in business again. 
and I wanted that feel. I know a lot of people don't, but for me that was that was kind of important. I like the idea that it's a school bus. It folds down, it, you know, it was a Craigslist fine, and if you look on Craigslist, you'll find stuff like this. It's just a, it's just a, it folds down. It's for a bedroom. I mean, and it's, and it serves pretty good as a second bed. Of course, it also stores my subwoofers underneath because we have to have that. <laughs> There's two big powered subs under there. This is a hundred year old icebox from back in the day. Now somebody finished it, um, shouldn't have, but they finished it and that actually saved me because I ended up getting it real cheap. But we store stuff in there. It's not really good enough to put, you know, your freezing stuff in if you're storing, you know, cereal and that kind of stuff we use it for that yeah i mean it keeps it cool mm -hmm. it's good for bread that kind of thing here in arizona things are pretty dry so this is sealed pretty good and it's got a great look and it's just more storage for kitchen this was a find at a garage sale i found this and another piece and i think i paid 50 bucks for both and then i found this sink and this stove the same day paid another i think it was 45 dollars for the both of them and brought it home, told my wife, don't come outside, and got the saw out, started cutting away. So we cut the sink in, it's all plumbed through. Um, I actually have my propane tank right inside. I've got my, I, I use the water supply from, it's a, um, it's, a, it's a beer keg that you pressurize with air. And it's mostly used for when people brew their own beer at home but I can just fill up with water. They hold five gallons, I've got four of them. And then you just put an air pump to it. You can hand pump it or you can do it electric. And then it gives me the pressure I need. So yeah, it works pretty good for, for doing it. And it's just, pi it's just pipe through, sitting there. Everything I do is pretty fast. <laughs> I don't uh, spend a lot of time on things, but that's the front of that thing. That's pretty cool. I have some 110 power, in here that I that I put in before I did anything uh, not a lot but plugs here and there and so it can run I've got a generator outside so right now I'm just running a generator eventually I'm hoping to get solar going but right now we got generator and it works pretty nice but these shelves right here it's all Home Depot or Lowe's um, had to have something for when we're driving around and we fill this thing up with groceries and stuff just until we get there and then we can start putting it away. But yeah, it, uh, you know, the one thing I will say about this, this is not a livable space. Like you wouldn't want to just live in here forever. More of a go camping. We've spent a, a week, uh, three different times and it's pretty comfortable. But beyond that would be a little tough. We have, uh, this is set up for our bathroom. We're going to get a compost toilet. Um, and it's, it's kind of set up. I sat in there, obviously, trying to figure the right size. This whole framing that we did here, uh, it was just a one-day thing. Just wham, bam. How can I do something? Uh, built the bed. And, and the way this sets up the door, the door opens up from the other side. And I got all storage under the ear from the back door. So and then that gives us our bed well i wanted a sunset so that we could be like laying in the back here he kind of surprised us with a little bit of the sunset that looks i mean it, it, it's supposed to look like it's coming all the way down and the sun is over here when you get in so pretty neat he did a really really good job uh we do I mean, not crazy amount, but it's it's very handy to move stuff in when we're when we're getting ready to go somewhere. We'll put all our stuff right here. I've got a bicycle and different stuff. Actually, I just got a hitch for the back to tote my bike, so I don't have to lift it in here anymore. But we put stuff, extra stuff in here. We have a stove that usually sits here, but now that we're in summer, right now we're looking at doing a um, roll around air conditioner. Yeah, it's a great little spot for it. It kept us really warm in the winter. Wood burning stove is pretty easy to uh, to fuel. Well, I'll tell you this: as far as the floor goes, I debated because everything I heard and saw, people were redoing, tearing it all up, and everything. I personally like carpet. My wife's not a big fan of carpet, but 
you can find remnants and I kind of talked her into let's just roll something out there and get things started the more we're in it I like it it's just it's it quiets things down nice it's nice obviously when you don't have your shoes on it was fast <laughs> it just rolls right over and you're done now I know a lot of people don't like these little spots where their, their walkway but carpet rolls right over it and this is actually the bus floor. You know what, uh, we kind of looked underneath obviously, but don't see any problems with rust. I got kind of lucky that way. But I will say that um, the thing about the carpet is, and my wife's complaint was, you know, it's gonna get dirty. And, and I bought this piece of carpet for under a hundred bucks. And so the way I look at it, if it gets dirty to the point where I can't clean it, then I'll get another piece. What I do whenever I'm cleaning, I use an air blower and I just, you know, blow it all over and blow it right out the door. Open this back door. I can clean this thing in about 10 minutes. This is the plumbing. These are the kegs that I use. And, you know, you can get those. They're about $100 a piece. Um, but you can switch them. I've, uh, we've got the plan to put, uh, they make a little smaller one that's like two gallon. Uh, these are five gallon each but we planned on putting Chardonnay in one and being able to just open the sink and you got Chardonnay or having a, a little thing on the side, a spigot on the side of the bus where we can just walk up and fill our wine glass. And it's all about just having fun. This whole bus has just been a, what can we do next kind of thing. Then of course, we were really working on, for me, I wanted a deck. I just look, I crawled up there one day and I'm standing on top of the bus going, wow, what a view up here. This is nice. And it took me probably two, three weeks of just looking at it to figure out how I could make this happen uh, without spending crazy money. And so that's when we started, we worked on the bus as the, the roof. And so one, one thing we really wanted, or I did, was not to have access from the outside we wanted to try to be able to, like, we could lock the bus up at night and not worry about somebody just showing up and going up on top of the bus because they go, whoa, that's the coolest bus. I want to get up there. We've been to Country Thunder and NASCAR and stuff, and you never know. I mean, people are out drinking, having fun. So by having the the exit as our entry into the top bus or the deck, it makes it nice. We've had kids camping up there. When we went to NASCAR, we put a little tent on the roof and they stayed up there and it was awesome. They, they enjoyed it. Well, here we are. We're on the deck. As you can see, the view is pretty nice up here. We were trying to figure out wood, metal, how would we do it? I'm kind of a wood person. I like the feel of it. It's a little softer. It's cheaper. So we put the deck down and then it was, I was like, let's, we're good. My wife was like, we have to have a fence or a railing or something. And so she won on that one. But now that it's done, I'm really happy with it because actually the height of the deck and the railing is 12 foot eight inches. So we're able to travel around and leave it up. Now, everything in the, the railing does come off with these pins and just lifts off. And so you can take them down real easy. We're able to drive with it up and we can leave all this stuff up here and just bungee it to the side rails and drive away. Well, the thing that made this bus kind of unique is it had a couple of ribs that were running along the top. And when I was looking at it, I'm like, you know, that's right across the top level. All I'd have to do is put an L bracket and strap my two by six and bring it in to the, so that they're even. And so I just marked that, drilled a couple holes. We bolted it down on the, on the wood. And then that was it. That was our foundation for putting the deck down. And it's worked really well. We had 15 guys up here dancing at NASCAR and had no problems. Of course, I was a little nervous about it, but it worked out perfect. Uh, I was a little worried about the weight and what it would do, but it has had no problems. And as you can see, like we have our poles for flying our kites and different things. And everything just gets zip tied and stays up here. So everything that you see up here stays here. And when we're traveling, we just pull the umbrellas down, set them down, bungee them. It, it literally takes about 10 minutes to put it all away to drive away. And the nice thing about that is when you get there, you're already set up. You know, it kind of gives us the, 
the feeling that we're on a on a deck. Well, the downrigger was a find at a garage sale for 50 bucks. When I saw it, I was trying to figure out how I could lift stuff up. At first, I was just thinking about beer, of course. But once I got these plastic chairs, they're really they're not that heavy. I can lift and drop all the stuff you see up here using the downrigger. And it's kind of a unique way to do it. Runs off 12 volts, so it just it, it works right into the bus situation. Uh, this was uh, at a garage sale around the neighborhood. I go garage sailing all the time. Part of the whole fun of this is finding things and making those work. Well, the shower is something that we just put in the other day. Uh, we went to Country Thunder, spent five, six days sitting there with the wind blowing on us and dirt. And my wife looked at me and goes, you're getting us a shower. And of course, I don't have a lot of room inside. And I've always said, we'll do an outside shower. And um, I, I thought about it and I went into Lowe's and walked around. I didn't know what I was gonna do. There was a pesticide sprayer for, I think it was $52. And I thought, you know what? I think that could work perfect. And turns out it does. <laughs> so you'll see from the bottom. But it, it literally, for the whole shower, I'm under $100. It holds four gallons. The thing is, we're in Arizona, so I'm not painting it black yet. I'll see. In the evening or afternoon, the water is perfect warm. We've tried that a couple times just to see, you know, if I should paint it to make the water warmer. Or depending on where you're at, if you were to paint that whole thing black, I'm sure you'd have pretty warm water to take a shower. Well, as you can see, we cut this deck a little short because the plan is to put solar panels on each side and in the middle right there, if we decide to do an air conditioning unit, then that's what that's for. Definitely want to do solar at some point. We also, these tiki lights, I think I got those at Lowe's on special for like $2 a piece. Everything you see up here is zip tie. So zip tie is the king when it comes to this bus. We use it for everything. <laughs> Tying down the umbrellas, because it can get windy. But if you, if you zip tie them across and do a, a cross on it, then they stay. It's a little nervous when wind's blowing hard, but... And then we have our kite stands and we can, we can keep everything up here, which I like. Otherwise, I'm toting stuff down. Of course, we have the cooler right here. And right now, it holds all the bungees and everything. So when I'm done, then I can strap everything up. But once we get somewhere, we'll pull that all out and fill it up with beer and whatever else. The ladder was kind of a funny thing because I had this thing sitting around. Originally I had a six foot ladder and it was a little difficult to step down into it. Uh, so we got an eight, in, an eight foot ladder, cut off the legs, put a couple rubber feet on it. We've had probably 300, 400 people come up here and I'm talking older people, everybody, and have had no real problems. The big thing about this is because it's an enclosed little area, it kind of supports you when you're walking down it. So even if you've had a little too much to drink, you're not falling. So it's worked out pretty well. And by the time you get past that point, you're one step away from the floor. <laughs> They're cheap, but the key is to make sure you find the ones that have string and not metal. Some of them have like a wire. Those wire ones will connect to each other and twist on each other and then they'll be like, you couldn't open them. So it was just something that we discovered after buying the first one. They're like $20. They kind of do add a little bit to it. We put a camera out here so I can see if we're inside, we can see everything that's going on in this area if we want to. Of course, the Sunsetter we picked up at, I think this was on Craigslist also, brand new in the box. The guy had a hard time trying to figure out how to mount it to his house because this is one that you mount to a house. and. Uh, I looked at it and said, you know what? I think I can mount that to the bus. Yeah, well, I wanted to go the whole length for more shade. But then, of course, we've got the door over here that we do use. And so, lucky for me, this thing just fits just like that. Once I got it here, I said, okay, how far back should I, where should I place it? So I had to keep that in mind. So those little things like that, you got to think about. Because it would be a real bummer if I couldn't. Because this thing here does attach over here 
so that you can lock it down. Uh, we mostly leave it closed, but if, if it's a nice breezy day, we'll open the windows up and take a nap or whatever we want to do, man. Change the light so that we got a switch on it. These things here are really nice, and I know they're cheap, but this solar light just sticks on there. And it's battery operated with solar, which, so it lays out a dim light, and then when there's motion in front of it, it lights up more. I think they're $12. So yeah, really cool to have that. But yeah, this picture of the bus right here was from our trip we went to Hawaii and we showed him a picture and he literally looked at it for a couple of minutes and then set it down and never looked at it again. I don't know where it is right now, but I could show you that he did it just like it looked. It was pretty cool. Um, well, because he's my friend, it's a little difficult, but I would, I would imagine that if if somebody just came up out of out of the blue and just said hey I want you to paint my bus I mean obviously you'd have to negotiate with him but I'm thinking a couple grand at least to me it's worth a lot more he paints murals on back fences so he does the entire fence in your backyard and makes you like you're at a, at a lake or a, a, anywhere you want to be really one of the things I wanted to do for sure was have a hippie side because I got a little bit of hippie in me. Not a lot, because I'm a professional. So I told him, just do hippie on the back. I'm not kidding you when I tell you that he drew Bob Marley without ever even looking at anything. He just did it out of his head. And of course, I think it fits the bus nice. We got a tow package, that was just a gift, came with it, and there's our shower. So the way this thing works, I had to do some way to do a curtain and these are threaded so I can just pull this off, unscrew it, put it in the back of the bus. And the way this thing works is this thing here is an arm when you're carrying this on a backpack you would be spraying weeds and stuff with it. Um, I just extended that arm so that when you're in the shower you can pump it up and then you can squirt it. So. Works pretty well, and it holds four gallons. You're gonna take a quick shower, but actually, since you're not using it, the whole the water's not running the whole time, it works pretty well. Nice oh my shower. God, rinsing your face and hair off and it's a body, yeah. I mean, we did the baby wipe thing for the first couple of trips out, and that works pretty well, but a good shower really feels good. Changes everything. The key is cost. I want it to be cheap, and not cheap, but inexpensive as possible. And it's worked out pretty well. I think it's awesome. People have said it's gravity, but when you go gravity, then you end up with maybe too much water. So if you get some pressure on it, you can, you can definitely, and you can see if I pump this up to where it's at, it takes about four or five pumps. You got a pretty good, pretty good shower. That, I think you can rinse your hair out with that. So this side of the bus was our Sedona side. And that goes back to when my wife and I first met. And we met in Sedona. This was Red Rock Crossing area. We told them that we wanted Sedona on one side and the beach on the other side. And he wasn't real happy about that because he wanted to do one thing all the way around. But uh, I had to have that. I mean, you can't see both sides at the same time, so why not? <laughs> we found these Budweiser mud flaps, and that, again, was at a some kind of a sale. They didn't quite fit, but it didn't take long to get that to work. That's battery, and then the other, the front piece, and that's something that Tony's going to look at today. Uh, it's a heater. So this bus came from Alaska, and with that, you get <clears throat> you get different things, like special heaters <laughs> so this thing will run when the motor's not running it'll if you broke down or something you could still stay warm here in arizona obviously we don't need it probably going to take that out so that i can use that for storage the windows are not taken out they're still there we just put a sheet over the top of it now on my next bus that i do i'm going to paint the inside of that sheet too so that when i open the window because if you go in the bus you'll still see those windows there i want to have a view so I want it to look like, hey, what's going on out there? <laughs> but yeah, it's just sheeted on um, with screws and then just tie it, it, just caulk it in good. When we first got it painted, we didn't include, we stopped it here. 
and we didn't do anything in the front. It was still green. It was the original green that came with it. I looked at that and it just didn't work. And so I brought him back over and he added this to this side. He, we were trying to figure out if we wanted an eagle or some crazy thing on the front, but we ended up with, we ended up with just uh, continuing each side all the way to the front and then just splitting it with the sky. But this was all green. Somebody had bought it. Somebody originally got this boss and painted it with house paint. And so that was our only real dilemma because it was all stretching out and it definitely was a mess. So one suggestion, don't paint it with house paint and <laughs> think that that's gonna last. It shrinks and everything else. So this is my bus. And if you see it traveling down the road or you see it on the side of the road, stop in and say hi. I'd love to say hi and let you check it out. You're welcome to come sit on the deck with me and have a beer. <laughs>